What's up, everybody? Welcome back to On Thin Ice, where Peyton and I discuss icebreaker questions, definitely don't go off topic, and we stick to whatever the theme is for the episode. And that's a fact. So far, we just had an idea that was completely not doing that. <laughs> yeah, but it hasn't been done yet, so until then, we're on that track. Yeah. Nah, we're fucking yep. liars. We always go off on a tangent about something about we're it. liars we just lied right to your faces and you all didn't even see it coming are and you, we bad people now as a matter of fact we lied and you guys liked the video didn't you yeah you guys just you actually on your other account <laughs> i'm just going through all of my accounts and just coming back to like the videos <laughs> it doesn't help the algorithm when you do shit like that it just gets me excited because i think we have an audience and we don't no like legit i will just like i'll go through and I, I like videos all the time, so if I'm just watching stuff, and I'll, I'll rewatch these just to make sure I didn't, like, fuck up anything, because as anybody can probably tell, I don't edit these. These just go up immediately after I post them, or after we get done recording. So I might be rewatching it and just by default like it before I even continue. Like, subconsciously, I probably just do that. But, um, anyway, how you doing? What you been up to? Dude, I've been alright. Supporting a... S- supporting? No, what's the sporting when you have something that you're currently dealing with you say sporting or supporting something i'm sporting a massive headache or i'm supporting a massive headache i'm doing one of the two enduring my head fucking hurts that's the point i'm trying to reach and i think it's i can't tell usually i can tell with my headaches what it is because if i drink too much soda barks not sponsored um i will feel it in my stomach and my head will start getting a little foggy i'm like i need hydrated and i will drink i'll chug water uh if it's from school stuff i could put my books down and and just sleep for a moment but if it's sleep that i'm lacking then everything just hurts and i'm not tired so my body doesn't know what's going on Hmm. well that sucks. sucks but other than that I've been amazing. Yeah. Charlotte, Charlotte, you go first before I, because I told you I've got the moviest of movie updates. I mean, I I don't have shit. I've been I've been playing like Return to Moria with my buddy Skyler as usual, same as the last several episodes, probably a little bit of Helldivers here and there. Uh, been fucking around with AI music because it's funny as shit and it yeah. brings me joy. <laughs> my god man some of that stuff it's so funny I, dude and it's so good too i just ah, man obviously so, i probably so I, would never release it but like it's still funny just personally to like see that kind of stuff come to life in that kind of way it's great i don't know which came out first the iphone 8 or the ipad mini but oh, my god. iphone won't let me <laughs> um take sampled audio and turn it into a ringtone my iPad would. I when I got that thing, I could make a little tune on GarageBand and I could just throw that into my settings as a ringtone. Can't do that here, or maybe you can, and I just don't know how because I'm an idiot. I don't know. F- I don't know anything about GarageBand, so I think I got on GarageBand one time back when I was messaging you like a couple weeks ago about uh, Ableton and. FL Studio and shit. I was messaging yeah. you about that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I've never actually looked into GarageBand all that much. Let me go ahead and try that. And I went I went on GarageBand and I was like, dude, what is happening? No, what no, am no, I no. doing? I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. This is a lot. I'm stressed. I'm leaving. And I never touched it again. That, that is small. The problem I, I keep having with it is I want to get out of music. And, and now, I, by this point, I've published three more songs, I'm pretty sure. Some of them with you. But... It doesn't offer everything, and I still, I've been making music for seven years now, and I still don't know everything to do on there. I had my, my outlets in here are all fucked up, but I had my phone plugged in once while I was on GarageBand, and I was tweaking with stuff, and it'll just make my phone do crazy shit. I don't know what's wrong with it, it's the wiring or something, but it pulled up this this balancer and EQ thing that I've never even seen before on the screen. I was like, there's a whole hidden realm here in Narnia on my phone that I haven't even seen yet. But yeah, GarageBand, I don't 
I don't know. It's simple to me, but it's just because now I can get on it and I know sort of what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, even though I'm yeah. still practicing every time I get on it. It's the same as anything, though. Like, if, if it's something you're used to, it just comes naturally. Like, for, for me, I use LMMS. I probably shouldn't say that out loud because I'm going to get bullied for it, but um because <laughs> i use everybody fucking band, hates okay, lmms no, one cares. no trust me lmms is more of a meme than garage band i promise you uh there's that producer i sent you um that i asked if you'd li- listened to before um yeah bishu bishu yeah he was trying to make a song on lmms one time he's <laughs> he's a phenomenal phenomenal producer the dude just makes some fucking crazy shit and he was on lmms couldn't figure it out at all he was like what am i doing <laughs> this doesn't make any sense and this dude's a pro like producer like he's legit in the game he could not figure out how the fuck lmms worked at all so he gave up i think he didn't even i don't even think he finished the song (laughs) you just and you're out here like this is my bread and butter this is easy yeah i can do all this shit i wanted to i was like watching his like chat go up the screen and i was like instinctually i was like oh let me just type out in the chat what he should be doing but I was watching the VOD, so it wasn't live. But my head okay. kept on going like, oh, it's, it's the chat. Let me just tell him, no, man, you just got to do this. You just got to do this. I promise. I want to see what you can do in LMS, you know? And every time I had to remind myself I'm watching a video that is not live. Listen, if anyone out there for whatever reason wants to start making music, maybe you're a YouTuber and you just hit it big and you need to quit and make music because that's how that goes. Uh, start with one of the bigger, more well-known constantly updated and more tools kind of recording equipment i guess whatever you would call it whatever you call it, fl studio and ableton live those are the Daw. two big ones dawes yeah your dawes yeah. You find something big like that that everyone's using there are more tutorials for it you have more opportunity to use stuff and if you're like us and you start on something else you will get locked in because you will try to learn it and you will never be able I mean you can unlearn it and you can relearn new stuff but man it's it's so hard and it's not worth the time I would argue that GarageBand is still on that list of things that is a good starting place if you're trying to make music I think it is I think it's it's definitely not anywhere close to a professional DAW of course but I think if you're if you have no idea what the fuck you're doing starting with GarageBand at least from people that I've talked to that use it. Um, that's how they kind of like got their foot in the door. But what I would argue with you on though is the fact that don't stay with it for forever. Like get your foot in the door, yeah. get your get your like chops on like making melodies or putting things together and shit or whatever, using samples, all that kind of stuff. But as soon as you feel a little bit more comfortable, immediately go to something like Ableton or FL Studio and start learning that because like Peyton and I have just discussed, we are like burned into our fucking program and we want out (laughs) and it's hard to get out because we are just so used to what we were doing. Sure are. All right, dude, are you ready for the best story that you've ever heard from me? I'm, I'm ready to hear whatever the fuck this movie update is because apparently it's the movie update to end all movie updates. I had the best day of my life yesterday. The greatest find of all time. I'm going to start with a little show and tell. All right. You follow me? I'm following. This is the keep pile right here. Okay. This what full are... fucking stack. These are steel books. Okay. Oh, did that you just bought? That I just bought. Are you financially stable? Are you okay? And this... Do you need money? (laughs) This is the cell pile. Are you going to be bankrupt? (laughs) What the hell? No, dude. I'm doing okay. There are... How many, actually? I need to recount them. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got 25 steel books in the span of two days. Uh, Let's see here. Where's... Where is it? Oh, there you are. So, I go in to Walmart yesterday or actually shit can i say and i've already said it 
Too far gone. Fuck me. Oh well. So I go into Walmart yesterday, right? Jacob, pay attention. This I, is super I go into Walmart right? yesterday. Yeah, I heard, I heard you. <laughs> All right. And I'm looking for this specific steel book. I wish the piece wasn't so reflective. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. A Mondo, Mondo brand steel book. Mondo is a company that makes steel books and other art, and they're really good at it. People love this shit. We got these for like 35 bucks at Walmart. Um, I went in. There was only one left. It is the only one of the movies that I wanted. I was like, oh, thank God it's here. Looked on Walmart online to see if there were any more. A thousand plus had been bought since the day before. The day before is when they came out. So people ate that shit up. Right. And as I was passing the $5 movie bin, I go and I notice, uh, where are you? Where are you? Come here. I notice a cop, and this rarely happens, but sometimes there are steel books in the $5 movie movie bin. I noticed this uh, copy of Chaos Walking. Pretty shit movie, but it's a really cool looking case. Never even heard of it. So I was like, oh, oh, fuck yeah. I'll, I'll just grab that. And then I notice another movie in there. And I'm like, holy shit, another steel book. And pretty soon I'm, I'm digging, I find another and another. And eventually, dude, I'm just fucking scooping. <laughs> I'm scooping literally just steel scooping books? up steel books out of this $5 movie bin. They were all $5, by the way. And then I ended up with this massive pile, 26 actually, because I, I sold one immediately, got home, posted it on eBay, and sold one overnight, and already had it shipped out. Huh. So now I have this massive thing to sell, you want to find me on eBay, the new Bonnie, you can find any of these steel books. if any of these are your favorites, they're listed, there's some John Wick in there, but yeah dude, this was, this was my dream come true, was to find all these fucking steel books just chilling. And there's some, there's some really weird ones in there, like Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. There's a couple <laughs> copies of Spiral, the shitty Jigsaw movie. Yikes. I wouldn't have even thought of that one. Sicario is apparently a really good one. I didn't know. One of the steelbooks that I found for that is worth 65 bucks. I went to another Walmart today to go pick up more, if they had any. Cleared that fucking bin <laughs> out, too. <laughs> I've heard, uh, I've heard of Scario, but I haven't watched it yet. I have heard good things, though. Yeah, I, I need to watch it. And there's just some quirky ones in here, too, like Season 8 of The Walking Dead and Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. Oh, shit. Word? Yeah. Yeah. I also found Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Toby, if you're watching, I think that's probably one of your favorites, if I remember right. So, yeah, I have all that now. And you're going to sell them to people that are unexpecting victims of yep. your price gouging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I should also mention this since uh, so I'm selling them. Uh, some do Apparently this, all this shit that I got, I'm getting the scraps. Because some other dude came in and bought all the John Wick copies that we had. And those things are going for like $35 a piece. Yeah. Pissed. But I still got got all this. I almost went to another Walmart today over in Burlington just to see if they had any, but <laughs> The Burlington Walmart is fucking dog water. I know it is. I but, hate the Burlington Walmart. But every Walmart has movies though. They do, yeah, but those. it's the principle. It's the principle yeah. of the matter. Yeah, dude, I shit my pants when I saw it all of these and i had i had 10 steel books in my arm yesterday going to the checkout before i even started my shift at work very happy time jesus christ when you I said know, you had a it's... movie update to end all movie updates i was like uh i was thinking that you found like the best movie that you've ever seen and you knew it was a meme or some shit but you loved it so much that you were gonna <laughs> tell me and i was gonna be like are you fucking on some like are you smoking the good shit because that is the dumbest movie i've ever seen in my life or something or you're gonna say yeah i watched uh, winnie the pooh blood and honey too and it was the best thing i've ever seen in my life it was so good apparently that one's supposed to be better i don't i don't know if i'm gonna even bother but, i haven't seen the uh, first one i heard the first one was dog shit didn't touch it and then i heard the 
second one is also dog shit, but it's like better dog shit. Yeah. That's it's that's funny you say I... you say the the meme movie though because in my watch list right now on eBay I do have a uh, Garfield steelbook, but it's German, so it just says Garfield their film. So that might that might happen eventually. Fucking Garfield, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude! I don't get it. I don't understand. No, the best movie ever is Watchmen. I know, I'm getting it's Cherry. I did watch the uh, the ultimate cut of Watchmen though. Finally, 4K, dude. It was like I was watching Watchmen for the first time in my life. It's the first time I've ever watched something and been like, okay, this nudity is actually art. Not when they're banging in the owl, the owl mobile, but when um, <laughs> that is art. Oh, uh, when uh, whenever that Night Owl is having that dream that him and Silk Spectre two are gonna get bombed or whatever and they're naked and they peel their skin off and they're in their suits oh yeah, yeah. i was like i was like this is art this is actually art of them peeling back the fucking faces that they're wearing to show that their their true selves is actually them crime fighting yeah crazy yeah the whole movie's a fucking ride extended cut or not it's it's a beautiful thing i love watching yeah. i got to see it in theaters when it came out and oh boy oh boy i'd so kill good. for that what was oh, that, 2009? Yeah, yes, I think so. It was 9 or 10, maybe I don't remember. 11. It was, I don't remember. it was close to that somewhere, but I do remember seeing it in theaters, and I was blown away. I was blown away. It was amazing. You need to read the book. Yeah, I probably won't do that, but... You need yeah, to read the book. I, I definitely won't do that. You will understand more about the movie if you read the book. You know that scene I don't where need they're to understand rock. more about the movie. I, I no, but it's so cool. I know enough about it to enjoy all of it. As no, it you don't. Do you know why all this, the the vigilantes are getting killed at the beginning? I don't care. I don't. Yeah, care. it's talked about in the comic book. Do That's you know great. why they chose Ride of the Valkyries for that scene with Doctor Manhattan killing because all it's the a Viet Cong? Banger ass song. No, Obviously. because one character, the original Night Owl, claims in the fucking book that you must read that it's one of the saddest things he's ever heard of because his boss at some fucking car garage killed himself while listening to that because he was having some issues with his marriage or something. There's story to it all. It's not yeah, just I, a goofy-ass movie with I believe some it. The weird person songs. That, the people that made the movie knew what the fuck they were doing. I do not doubt that at all. Yeah. That I already movie know almost that. goes pant panel for panel for comic book so it's, good it's a good movie man it's a good movie all around all right that was stupid and boring no one cares about my thousands of steel books <laughs> what's going on what are we doing today so you ever watch a movie on a streaming service that you no nope. i made? own them all okay well take yourself and put yourself into the <laughs> shoes of somebody that would <laughs> yeah. or, or a youtube video or listening to spotify without premium and you just get interrupted oh, by some fucking ads you ever have that happen like ever all, all the fucking time when i'm on spotify and i'm trying to listen to my ads and it gets interrupted by a song i hate it i don't i have expelled ads from my life all right red pill dude i <laughs> actually hate, that'd be, make you blue pill right i hate ads so much that if I ever see an ad for anything, whether it pops up on Facebook or Instagram or... Uh, that's probably the only places I ever see ads now because I have YouTube TikTok, Premium. TikTok, that's and, flooded. Yeah, but I don't, get, I don't get on TikTok very often. It boils my blood. I get pissed. <laughs> I legitimately get fiery. I'm like, dude, I do not want to fucking see this. I don't want it. Especially, like, shorts. Like, uh... The Facebook Reels or Instagram Reels or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Dude. And they have the little thing down at the bottom of the screen. And it, like, expands a little bit and shows you this big-ass ad and, like, half the video is cut off. I'm like, dude, what makes you think that if I'm watching this funny ad or funny movie or video or whatever, that I'm going to be enticed to buy your product when you fucking interrupt it? That's going to make me want your product so much less every time every time as a matter of fact there are some th some of them that i see way more often than others i 
will go out of my way to never associate with that product ever. <laughs> <laughs> I could get a brand deal, a sponsorship on my main channel or something whenever I inevitably blow up from being so fucking awesome and famous from yeah, one yeah, of those too. from one of those ad companies and I will tell them to go fuck themselves. I will not sponsor it. Like that's how much it boils my blood. I don't care. They piss me off. Money, gang. As a matter of fact, um it uh, if I ever did end up getting to the point where I'm getting sponsorships and ad deals and shit like that, one, if I got sponsorships at all, I would only accept the ones that I felt comfortable promoting and I thought were good products anyway. Or two, I would do my best to not have any whatsoever and just try to get my income through, like, fucking merch and shit or whatever, uh, Patreon and stuff like that. I would never, ever, 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 ever make my my viewers have to sit through fucking ads all the time and sponsorships and shit. And I get it. I mean, everybody got to make their money. I understand that. So I'm not bagging on people that do have, like, sponsors and shit like that. Whatever. I, I understand. But, dude, oh. It hurts me. It makes me itch. It makes me chafe. It makes me get hemorrhoids when I see an ad or hear an ad. Spotify, never again. I have premium, and I will never go back, ever. Dude, I have so many thoughts on this. My first one is just that you're you're feeding the corporations. You give them... Yes. Give them more money to not have the ad experience. I give them I more money to have it, more but... pleasure <laughs> myself from their products. <laughs> That's the problem, though. When they know it's working, they come to us, the poor people, who have to spend all of our money on steelbooks and have nothing left, <laughs> and they go, hey, more ads for you because other fucking people are paying to get away from them. I say we just burn all the ads. Yeah. Burn them. To the ground. Dude, I'm, I'm 24. I don't need to know about anything new in life. I've learned it all. I'm done. Same. I have every. I have my iPhone 8. I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> I understand Barks root beer is the best thing ever. That was the most de done. depressing sentence I think I've ever heard you say in my entire <laughs> life. I have my iPhone 8, and I, I the best soda ever, Barks root beer. Yeah. That was I such mean, a depressing is. sentence to hear somebody say. Yeah. Uh, that was, well, listen, that was man, almost as bad as an ad. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I have all of the ads. And I can tell you that Spotify oh. and Hulu are the worst. I know. At putting out ads. I, I've been re-watching Impractical Jokers recently. I take it or leave it. People hate it or they love it. I, I think it's funny shit. I love Impractical Jokers, dude. <laughs> I Sa think, dude, God, Sal, someone does. Sal is my man, dude. I fucking love Sal. He is fucking hilarious. And Mo. Mo yeah. is pretty cool, too. But, dude, Sal is just fucking hilarious, man. All the Q punishments where he has to go and, like, <laughs> get tormented in front of children and ruin their lives. It's, yeah. it's comedy gold. All right? People, yeah. It's an untapped Our, resource. I said Mo. It sounded like a fake fan. I meant Murr. Murr. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. I knew that. My fucking brain shut off. But, yeah, those are 20-minute episodes. There are four to five ads per episode. It just... It fucking ruins everything and interrupts the flow. And it's all, I think no matter what, because anytime, if you watch an ad more than two times, you're going to think, I've, I've seen this ad too many times now. It's been everywhere. At least show me something new. Yeah. And then you see another ad two times and you repeat the cycle again. It's just, it's so bad. And I think, I don't, I don't know why... Look, I don't even know where to go with my commentary on this one because it's just fucking infuriating even thinking about it. Like, the one I think of the most is Jennifer Coolridge on Spotify talking about some fuck getting savings from some company. I don't even know what the company is. All I remember is her coming on going, Hi, it's Jennifer Coolridge. <laughs> and she's like, Do you like something cream and mushroom sorbet i've got leftovers that's the end of the ad i'm like shut the fuck up i need to hear my death metal yeah. i'm trying to run same dude i haven't heard a spotify ad in years i mean it's been years since i've heard a spotify ad the spotify has ads that talk about how bad the ads are and how you should upgrade to premium <laughs> yeah. it's the funny it's the funniest shit they have ads to take away their ads I'm in the middle of listening to like some heavy dubstep. It ends and all I hear is do 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 do. 
want a break from the ads. He <laughs> <laughs> just well, goes into that. It's really, I mean, it's depressing, but it's also heartening to know that uh, that has not changed, because that sounds like the exact same shit that happened the last time I heard ads on Spotify. Yep. Want a break from the ads? No, I don't want your fucking ads at all. I don't want a break from them, implying that they're going to come back. I want them to be gone forever. <laughs> fucking break. Yeah. Get out of my life, dude. <laughs> they give you, sometimes you get lucky and you get 30 minutes of uninterrupted music. I've had a hiccup in, I've had a hiccup in that where it gave me an ad immediately afterward. I was no. like, you, you son of a bitch. How could you do this? Or it shuffle it somehow shuffles through my playlist and it knows the songs I hate and I try to skip through them and when I'm skipping <laughs> it counts that time. <laughs> so four songs later I'm like, where's this ad coming from? What just happened? I thought I got thirty minutes of freedom from this bondman. Dude, I just need to add you to my fucking my family plan. I have like two slots still open. <laughs> what the up. hell, man? Hit me up. <laughs> I might have to, because that's... I might give oh, you I man, might give you a little sucks. break from... Uh, I might give you a little break from your ads. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a break from the ads? Yes! Kill me! <laughs> what no, if that? Dude. What if you're like, want a break from the ads, and you're like, yes, please, and then someone shows up at your house dressed as Spotify, and they shoot you, <laughs> kill you? They're just dressed in all green. All right. No more ads. You're welcome. You're dead. Fixed a lot of your problems, as a matter of fact. Oh my god, can you imagine them playing, like, the sad music that you play at funerals and it gets interrupted by an advertisement for some, for something? <laughs> Dude, ads are so bad that they're going to start playing them at funerals. Just to advertise I, their bullshit-ass services. What's a really funny ad that would play at your funeral? At my funeral? Yeah, if you can knowing, think back to ads. Knowing my luck, it would be something about NordVPN or some shit. Yeah. It'd be some stupid, like, NordVPN or... Hello Fresh shit, because those are the ones that I think I've seen the most, or Sh Raid Shadow Legends, of course. But yeah, Hello Fresh is a big one with Hulu. They must it... have like some kind of partnership on YouTube too. YouTube, Hello Fresh, and NordVPN were on YouTube all the time. And once I got premium, I was like, and I didn't even originally get premium because of the ads. I got premium because there was a there was a very specific album, video game OST that I wanted to listen to, and it was not on Spotify. And so if I wanted to listen to it, I'd have to go to YouTube and I'd have to keep my phone open, like unlocked yeah. and everything. But I knew that if you had premium, you could lock your phone and it would still play and stuff. There's like an audio version everywhere. You could just click on the uh, listen version or whatever. So I got premium to listen to that uh, album along with a couple other. There was a couple other albums um, that I was listening to that just were not on Spotify for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, like... About a year later, they put that fucking OST on Spotify, but I was so just used to not having ads and shit that I just kept paying for premium on YouTube. But I use YouTube a lot, though, so I can justify it, because I use YouTube a lot, so... Yeah, me too. YouTube is... Well, for me, it's free television, because yeah. I don't have premium. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the only ones that I personally pay for, because we should... Oh, I shouldn't be saying this on the internet, but we share accounts for our, all of our other streaming services, who I'm not going to name, oh, you're of course. Shut down. But, you're done. but I pay for Hulu and Prime and YouTube. Those are the only ones that I pay for. Well, I guess Spotify as well, but um, I have a deal on on Hulu. You get if you fucking look on Cyber Weekend or whatever, they usually got some damn good deals, like two dollars a month for a year. It's great. Nice. So that's like not really anything at all and then prime i think i also had a deal on for something i can't remember what it was but they had some kind of promotion for it i think uh so that's also not that bad and then spotify i have a family plan so yes it's paying for like a couple extra dollars a month but i also have diana and my mom and i think kaden my little brother as well on my family plan but i think i have two spots open still i could be wrong but I know I have at least one, but I'm pretty sure there's two. Just for me? <laughs> I mean, hey, nobody else is fucking using them. Somebody can use them. I don't give a shit. I offered it to Toby, but I think Toby is also on a family thing with his mom and sister. So he doesn't really need it. 
Are there any advertisements that have worked on you and like think broader than just video ones? Like, have you seen something on Instagram while scrolling and you're like, oh shit, I'll actually buy that or like drive by a billboard and you're like, I need that service. Not that I can think of other than like maybe, maybe like fast food billboards and shit, but I'm going to eat at those anyway. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Unless it was like a limited time thing that Taco Bell was having or some shit, they're advertising it, and I'm like, "Oh, that sounds good." I go check that out, maybe. But, but I'm still gonna eat at Taco Bell, so the the odds of me seeing that on the menu are pretty jacked anyway. You know, like, um, but no, I don't think that I can think of anything that I've just seen on an advertisement, billboard, sign, uh, video ad, anything. Listen, listening to it, like nothing. Um. There may have been a couple times back when I was looking for a car when I lived in Seymour, because I listened to the radio a lot. I was driving a uh, 2001 Buick Century, didn't have a CD player, oh, man. didn't have any Bluetooth, nothing. So uh, I was listening to the radio a lot, which I cannot stand the radio, by the way. So uh, bad. There's like six ads to every two songs. It's dumb as shit. And there was a couple of ads for like car dealers and stuff that I did end up going to look up, but it's just because I was looking for a car. Like I was actively looking for a car. So if it wasn't going to be those ads, I was going to be looking online anyway. So did that really work? No, I don't think so. Cause like I said, I would have been looking anyway, but I can't dude. I can't stand ads. I can't stand them. Drive me up the damn wall, dude. I, okay. Well, mine's maybe mine will help jog, uh, something for you. Uh, I've been scammed on the internet before by an ad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I fell into it. Guess what, man? Magic the Gathering. Oh! What are the fucking odds? I got my, I did ex- I got my account frozen by a D&D thing, but that was a, that's not ad-related, though. I'll tell you that. I did, I did extensive research for this. So Instagram will, will also feed you full of fucking ads from your cookies. They will steal directly from your cookies and give you stuff that they think that you're going to enjoy whereas facebook will just give you sex toys and whatever else is in the area but saw something for a magic the gathering product it said the store was going out of business and i'm like yeah yeah i doubt it okay if if the deals were this good everyone would come here and see them and i checked it out the store was legit it had a website i i only spent i think twenty dollars because i was like if i'm gonna lose money i would rather it not make me go bankrupt and if they're gonna hack my account my bank is gonna notify me immediately because they're usually pretty good about that so i ordered some booster boxes that were like 10 bucks a pop because i'm like this is a fucking steal and if it works i'll get back on here and order more if you go to search up the website it turns into just a a christmas warehouse of decorations and i'm like that's not fucking right but i look it up to make sure I run it through a couple internet browsers that will actually tell you the security of the website, whether it's trustworthy or not. And it said no, just because it was brand new and there wasn't enough feedback for it yet. I'm like, that's not a reason to not trust it. So I did, and I order a product from it, and it doesn't come for like weeks. I see, I actually interacted with the people on Instagram that were commenting on it, because I saved the post too. And they're like, scam, scam, this is a scam. And I I messaged in there, I'm like, guys, I bought something. I'll let you know how it goes. And <laughs> like a day later, they're all like, all right, man, you tell me. You tell me, and then I'll, I'll look into it. So I get I get a product in the mail, right? Let me go grab it, actually. Oh, God. Jesus. Spoiler, it's not magic. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Let's take a minute. All right, I get a tiny little little package in the mail, right? And I'm thinking, there's no way Booster Box is going to fit in that thing. And this is what they send me. It's this little fucking pink package that has one of those towels that keeps you cool in it. Oh, I was going to say, what the hell is that? Okay, that makes yeah. sense. So I'm never going to use it, but like at the very least, they sent me something. They didn't actually scam me and try... I mean, they did scam me, yeah, but they didn't you. steal all my money fuck up my whole account and all my credit yeah so that was when that happened i ended up getting um like 
at least a, f- a 50 more ads that were like, store is closing, <laughs> great deals, check this out. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you all. And I start just getting through that. Jesus I messaged Christ. the guys back on that post. And I was like, hey, guess what? It was a scam. Not all heroes wear capes. Had nope. to take, had to some take us, one for the team. Some of us just wear gray hoodies. I wore this specifically <laughs> for this episode, too. There's no brand on this whatsoever. It's my trademark. Oh, shit. God damn it. I've got a polo. Oh, man. Now I have to go and buy polo. Damn it. You've been ad. Fuck. You've been hit with the ad. <laughs> Get advertised, idiot. <laughs> Get advertised, idiot. <laughs> More ads, idiot. Um... Yeah, no, I, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Um, but I got my bank account frozen because, and this wasn't due to uh, do an ad, but it shut my whole fucking bank account down because mm-hmm. they thought it was a scam. I was I was on uh, D&D Beyond or something like that, and they had some sale going on for uh, PDFs for, like, official character stuff, official story stuff, uh, stories, um campaigns all that kind of shit and i found one for a uh, a race that i wanted to play that it, it was very specific like i didn't want to go and get the whole ass book because D books are fucking expensive but i sure found are. i found a pdf of the actual race info like all the pages for it and everything and it was discounted like a lot and it got dropped down to like a penny or something like that or a nickel it was, like uh, super yeah. cheap so yep, was, that'll do it. So I was like, well, duh, fuck it. I can drop a penny on this shit. No big deal. And I did. And the bank, the, or the next day I went to go, um, I went to go get something. I like gas or something or food or something. I don't remember. And it denied my, like denied my card. And I'm like, uh, no, can't be the case. I have money in here. Like there's no way. And I called my bank, and they're like, oh, yeah, we seen some suspicious activity on your account, so we froze your account. I'm like, suspicious activity? And she's like, oh, yeah, there was this really shady thing, uh, D&D Beyond. And I'm like, no, that's an official website. I bought something off of there yesterday. And she was like, oh, okay. And she was like, well, we're going to have to, like, send you a new card and everything, because that card is, like, frozen. Like, we can't Seriously? unfreeze it or whatever. Yeah, so I had to fucking scrap the card. They, they give me a temporary one. And then I got a new one in the mail, like, a couple weeks later. I was like, dude, you guys are fucking assholes, man. Like, I mean, I get it. They're trying to, like, make sure your shit's not getting taken. But contact me first. Be like, hey, did you make this strange payment on this D&D Beyond website for a penny or whatever? And I would have confirmed, yeah, that was me. It, That's it how my me. bank is. My bank is crazy. Like, I don't really, I can't say I don't care for my bank. I would say my bank is pretty, pretty good, especially about security stuff. Because they... Uh, that same day that I tried purchasing the the cards, they they'd send me a text, and they've done this several times. They send me a text immediately saying, "Hey, your card is your account's on hold. Did you try to purchase this for this amount?" And I just text them back, "Yes or no." And they're like, "Okay, cool. Your card's gonna be active again in five minutes." And if that ends up being a problem, they they call me and they're like hey what's going on i'm like i don't know you tell me and they're like okay well money's going to places that we've never seen before i'm like okay uh i did that or i i didn't do that and they'll be like okay we'll just not allow it then yeah and then you're good to keep going i met i they told me that I, they had to send me a new card shit i'm like are y'all whack are y'all trying to like really fuck with my head right now are you shitting my dicker there's no way yeah that uh oh we're seeing here that this uh hang on let me just just typing like, oh, we see that this one penny actually ended up costing you five thousand dollars in an overdraft charge. <laughs> Was it worth it, buddy? <laughs> well, I got the PDF, so yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Downloaded and everything. I was, yeah. it, I was hoping it was a huge scam. No, it was from the official D and D Beyond Wizards of the Coast website. Like it was, it wasn't on some shady site from somewhere, you know. Yeah. Oh but, man, what what know. else about ads? I had, hmm, I get ads all the time, and I do think that they are. As soon as I see an ad for something, I'm usually completely against it. Same. Whatever it is, because it's. I don't. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> an ad means it's interrupting what I'm doing, exactly. even if it's something I would enjoy. If I'm not going out of my way to find out what it is, 
And it sucks because I don't get ads for things I want. If I got an ad that said Mark Miller is about to drop volume six of Jupiter's Legacy, I would be like, fuck yes, finally. Yeah. I would have to search it up every week and see when something's happening. But it's always it's always something stupid. Like I get on on uh I'm watching fuck all American I I, dude, I can't even speak words, I'm I'm getting angry. The <laughs> algorithm's in my head and it's <laughs> filling with ads and I can't I can't think, but there's some shit about hy V having steaks for ninety nine cents over the weekend and wow. it's the, the biggest <laughs> sale in six years. I'm like Sure wish I gave a shit. <laughs> Guess what? I don't fucking care. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out and buy that if there was no food in my house. Just to spite you. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. I could be like living off of nothing in a box, and I now I definitely am not going to buy those things because you just fucking had it in an ad. And I'm the same way, dude. If I see something in an ad, I'm like 99.9 percent more likely not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> period. Or visit that site, or use the product, or anything. Like, period. Yeah. It's fucking wild, and I just don't get it. Like, and the, another thing to go with ads, by the way, is, and I think I talked to you about that Kadikaris video I watched uh, last week, yeah, where he was going over some like old video game ads and video game console ads. And I'm gonna tell you right now, dude, if there were ads like that, I probably wouldn't have so much of a gripe about them because that no, shit no, is fucking would. funny, though. Like some of they them were still... stupid funny. They still exist, and they're not funny. It's just cringe now. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. If there were ads like the ones from those time periods that, like, probably should have been taken down because some of them are raunchy as shit, I probably would love... Well, maybe not love. I'd still fucking get irritated by having my shit interrupted. But at (laughs) least they wouldn't be so painful, you know? Like, it wouldn't be so bad if it was an Xbox commercial of a lady giving birth and the baby flies out of her fucking thing and blast through a wall and then rapidly ages until he gets like landed into a coffin that was an xbox commercial i'm pretty sure what does that have to do with xbox not a goddamn thing but at least i would rather see some shit like that because it's just unhinged and funny than a goddamn ad about hello fresh or nord vpn for fuck's sake dude this is why the patriarchy still exists we run the world we make it a better place you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> no that's the the stuff that i yeah i i think it's a game now i don't know who is in charge of marketing and for some of these products but it's almost like a game to find out what product you're trying to advertise in the ad itself i've got this one that keeps coming up it's like my uh I got to marry my best friend, and uh, we met at this place that had chicken wings, and that's all I wanted for our wedding night was chicken wings. And then it ends with Coca-Cola. Like, sure, <laughs> motherfucker, what are you talking about? I want wings now, not Coca-Cola. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It's fucking wild. And, and like, if there's sponsors and stuff and the YouTubers that I watch... I I am less likely, I'm less likely to skip it if their ad or whatever that they're plugging the sponsorship or whatever, if that is somehow incorporated into the video. Like, I know uh, the Dickie Dines show with Jared Dines and uh, Austin Dickey, they are fucking hilarious. And when Austin does the ads, they are just as funny as the rest of the video. Like the whole ad is just as much of content as the rest of the video is. I'll watch it. I don't even care because it's fucking hilarious. I'm cackling the whole time. Will I buy the product? No. Absolutely not. But it's it's less likely for me to skip it if that's the case because he's just a funny dude and he makes it funny the whole way through and that's enjoyable for me. Same with Kadikaris. Kadikaris does the same thing for any of his sponsors. He makes it a part of the video. It's not just like a segmented like, hello, this is a thing that we have to produce or have to promote because we're getting paid from them. And back to the video, you know, like that's just boring as shit. I could care less. I'm not going to buy it anyway. I already know I'm not going to buy it anyway. So at least make it yeah. part of the content. You know what I mean? I I know exactly what you're talking about. When I, when the Always Sunny podcast was still going, they had to do ad reads, but they turned them into skits and they were actually pretty funny because it was just, the creators of the show that 
were actually doing a little a little bit with it and they were adding in these sunny references and it was actually funny but no i'm not gonna go buy a fucking avocado mattress i'm not gonna <laughs> start eating or drinking daily greens i'm not going to do it and yeah. when someone says stuff like i actually use this product every day immediate turn off <laughs> great now if you weren't getting paid would you would you still say that yeah there's a um there's a there's a dude that does like he does like ai stuff like he's one of the ai content creators that blew up because of the whole ai thing um but he's actually really cool i I like his videos and i like to stay up to date with it and shit but his name's matt wolf and uh he only accepts sponsors for products that are ai based because that is what his channel is about about and stuff that he's used and continues to use like stuff that he actually does legitimately use and he's even shown in his videos that he uses these things so when he gets sponsored by people like that he'll he'll do it but not all of his videos have sponsors because of that so most of his videos don't even have sponsors but the ones that he does have sponsors in at least it is a product that he can like in confidence promote because he uses it anyway and it's still technically part of the video that he's making because it is incorporating ai to some degree and that's what his whole channel is about so i i don't mind shit like that either again i'm i don't know if i'm gonna use it i mean i might go check out like a free trial of something like that if it's interesting to me but other than that i'm probably not touching it period not gonna not gonna see me buying manscaped products you're not gonna do i look like a motherfucker that's gonna buy some manscaped products hell no (laughs) <laughs> oh man okay well i think by this point actually we we have probably been advertising our merch for a bit at least yeah probably go buy some merch <laughs> <laughs> this is this is an ad <laughs> no you see what's great is i actually wear this shirt every day <laughs> i wear it so much that it was a it was a red shirt. Now it's kind of like a brown shirt because I wear it all the time. I wear it to bed. Because I wipe my ass with it. I wipe it. my ass with it. I take showers with it. I don't go anywhere without this shirt. <laughs> Could be yours with a uh, special promo code, pizza dot, whatever. We don't have promo codes. There, there actually, actually is a promotion one. going on right now. I for I used it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's don't say right now because it's probably not there anymore. It only had like twelve days left when the site. Oh, yeah, went sorry up. guys. <laughs> if there's any more, if there's any more uh, promotions or whatever, we'll let you know. But <laughs> okay, beside aside from obviously us doing movie promotions because it's a product we made that we spent time on and we are very happy with. It's also of. free. I mean, the movie itself it is. is free, so. Unless you have the, YouTube the pain and long-lasting <laughs> torment of waiting for the sequel, though, that's not free. No, that comes not. at a cost. That hurts. That hurts us all dearly. But is there anything you would promote then, if you uh, if you had the opportunity to something you would actually be happy to um, make an advertisement about? If I got sponsored by Baja Blast, specifically, I was gonna I was gonna see if you said Mountain Dew. Or specifically Baja. No, specifically Baja Blast. I love I love all like a lot of the other flavors, but I will not promote any of them on my official stuff like YouTube or whatever, or my music or whatever, except for Baja Blast. It's the only one I will promote, mainly because Baja Blast is not only delicious, but it's also like pretty much a meme in itself, and I just think it's funny as fuck. Um, but definitely Baja Blast. Um, anything. If I got sponsored by a company that made really good pizza or some shit, yeah. Yeah, that's where my mind went. Because I'm probably going to eat it. I mean, I I just love pizza. So if a really good pizza company, by the way, if anybody lives in the Providence area, go check out po- Providence Coal Fired Pizza. Not sponsored. It's fucking delicious. Oh, you've done it. So you've had good. It on them. It's so good, dude. It's so fucking good. But anyway, um, World of Warcraft. I'm a shill. What can I say? Wow. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Jacob the sellout. Yeah, I know. But, dude, I've been playing fucking WoW since I was nine years old. Like, I have some stock in that, okay? Like, I have a say. Yeah, that's right? fair. I have a say in that, and I personally enjoy the game. The game. I don't 
personally love a lot of the business practices, of course, that Blizzard has been um, taken to court for a few times in the past. I th It seems like they're at a better spot now, but again, I just don't like big corporations like that doing really shitty things to their employees, of course, but as long as they're in a better place, I will promote their game. Yeah, imagine that news breaks out and then you're like, Jared from well, I guess you, it wouldn't be a Jared from Subway deal. It'd be kind of the opposite, where the corporation is bad, and then people make you out to be a bad person by association. Yeah, that would suck if the that company ruined your image because you promoted their product. Yeah, they that turn would out suck. to be bad people. That would blow. That's why. I, that's why I don't think I would, do. I don't like think that's any company. That's not like a big thing that happens though, because like. You gotta think, like, all the YouTubers and stuff like that that get sponsors from these massive companies and stuff sometimes, like, surely some of these companies have done some shady things and have been pressed about it after they've been sponsored by certain people. Like, say, Mr. Beast or whatever had a sponsor for something huge, right? And then that corporation goes and does something shitty. They're not gonna, they're not gonna go bag Mr. Beast for it. I mean, he was obviously just getting his fucking bag, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't, anyway. I wouldn't blame him for it. Unless he was, like... Unless after the fact he was continually endorsing it and shit, and like that would suck. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind is that if it happens, then you have to like cut off ties immediately. I think if you did, if the next video you did had that um, that ad source in it, then you could probably be you would be more likely to be painted as a bad person, even if you pre-recorded the video. Yeah. But by <laughs> still having those ties, it'd be it'd be really weird. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to cut ties. I mean, even if it even if it meant cutting some money that I'd be getting or whatever, like I I don't know if I'd be comfortable being associated with like heinous things like that from some of these fuck corporations that do some nasty shit, dude. Yeah, I uh, this was actually one of the wisest things I've ever heard, but uh, some news came out like a couple of years ago about uh, Fairlife, you know the the milk company. Mm -hmm. So I was drinking a lot of their, their protein milks because they were really good. And uh, they put out some, someone put up footage of them just beating the ever loving shit out of their cows and torturing them. Like kicking them, stabbing them, just treating their animals like dog shit. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not, I, I haven't drank any of their products since. I've not bought anything Fair Life since. And it disgusts me every time someone gets something of theirs and I feel like I have to let them know. But someone else told me, like, yeah, it's a problem, but they were the first ones to get caught, meaning that lots of other companies are probably doing the exact same thing. You just can't yeah, can't trust anybody and I can't just no. have a product because then that fund, those funds go to helping whatever their cause is. Like when I go to Chick-fil-A, I get Chick-fil-A maybe once or twice a year because they send a lot of their proceeds to um, conversion therapy. And I I want absolutely nothing to do with that. Yeah. All I want is your fucking waffle fries, man. Yeah. Their, associate, their association with the uh, church entirely is enough for me to not really condone most of their business practices. But uh, I love their chicken nuggets, man. They're so good. <laughs> yeah, we're part of the sheep, man. I don't know if that's a separating the art from the artist kind of situation, though. You know what I mean? Like, you can't because you're still, as long as you're funding and they're putting those funds towards something, you're sort of indirectly helping that cause. Yeah, but what that's about, the way what about a about music it. artist, though? A music artist that's done shitty things, you know? You're still listening to their music, especially in today's day and age. Yeah. Stream, stream numbers, you know, they're going up regardless of whether or not you fucking hate their guts and shit, so. Yeah. I'm not really directly impacting it as much as, like, buying the chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, but, like, like, uh... Pantera, for example, uh, Phil Insomno, or Insalmo has, like, said some really racist shit. Like, really fucked up racist shit. And you're like, man, this one's a banger, though. For the longest time, I would not listen to Pantera just because I was like, dude, I don't know if I feel comfortable with, like, even promoting their music at all, listening to it or anything. And I still don't really listen to Pantera because of it. And it's only, it's a personal thing, I think. Like, I still like a couple of their songs, and some of their songs are just... They're in my playlists, and they forever will be, because they're just fucking classics, and I cannot stop listening to them. Like, Cemetery Gates, Walk, I mean, they're just bangers, and they're classics, you know? But I still just don't get p 
past that, though. I just can't move past the fact that he was saying some heinous shit sometimes, you know? <laughs> and then same with, like, black metal. Black metal's got a bad fucking rap for being extremely, extremely bad. Specifically racist and, like, just fucked up things, you know? But there's some bands that I listen to and I'm just like, yeah, it sounds good. So... Kanye is another big example of that, or at least he was. Yeah, I think people I people still love concept. Kanye and his music, but that's what happens when you've won more Grammys than any other rap artist in the world. So yeah, I don't listen to Kanye, but that's I don't the- actually think I've listened to Kanye since the Pete Davidson controversy with him was a thing. Because I was like, oh, he's actually mentally insane and he's taking things too far. I'm just gonna. Speaking of Kanye yeah. and black metal, did you see his like? his most recent postings and stuff uh wearing a burzum shirt and uh his newest album artwork looks just like a burzum like the first burzum album that came out or whatever no Burz- i haven't burzum for anybody that doesn't know is one of the original uh black metal projects came out of the early 90s and um by a man named varg for curtis everybody's heard of varg dude that burned down the fucking churches in norway back in the day and like went to prison and stuff and he wore a smile on his face he killed Euronymous, uh like all kinds of bad shit or whatever he's also a neo-nazi like super fucking racist piece of shit and kanye's over here like pretty much promoting burzum he's got a fucking big old burzum shirt in the public eye and everything and then his his album that he just released i think this year has got heavy fucking burzum influences it looks almost identical to burzum's first album god dang and he's also talking about like hitler and shit and like nazi shit i'm like dude what in the hell man you're out of it dude crazy dude the 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 more i look around the more i'm like in my office full of different brands and just products and stuff i wonder if i actually own anything that a a company has made that's not done something shitty before like even me saying i've got my iphone i say iphone everyone knows iphone but that's that's still me promoting it, and I mean they have they have children working in mines to make these things, and yeah, yeah everyone's like, no, we're totally cool. Where's the sixteen and the seventeen at? Yeah, stuff like that. I can't. I don't like promoting any big corporations, Walmart. I mean, just the the stuff that they do with money and how they treat employees. It's it's just total fucking shit. Yeah. It's hard, though. It's hard to detach yourself from it because it's just the world that we live in, you know, and there's just, it pretty much floods every ounce of our being. And I know, like, it may be a little bit harder for people that live in areas where the bigger corporations and stuff like that are the only thing to shop from, but if you're in an area, rural or otherwise, that does have a lot of local businesses, fucking shop at the local businesses. Like, shop local if you can, you know what I mean? I I need to do it more to be honest with you. Like I have access to plenty of local businesses that have some stuff that I could easily use as a uh, replacement for some of the stuff that I get from bigger corporations and whatnot. But I just I don't think of it because those corporations are always like front and center in my head, and the convenience of it all is front and center. You know. Yeah, I have mixed feelings on it just because like I worked at a local small business and. I know for a fact that the prices they charge are completely unreal. And depending on the the type of business you have, whatever, wherever you're getting the product from, you might still be supporting the big business. We are still, we were still supporting Wizards of the Coast by ordering Magic the Gathering product from, like, we would order it from a distributor, but no matter what, all those funds were still getting allocated back to um wizards so we might be paying whatever and then charging double it was usually you would charge double whatever you paid on your end and get that and just by doing that and keeping the business alive we were still making sure that wizards was putting out hundreds of fucking thousands of products every year yeah, but they they, just keep going. When, when you have stuff like that, though, that's heavily branded like that, like, obviously, there's no alternative to magic cards. Magic cards are just magic cards, you know what I mean? So yeah. there's not really a whole lot of ways to do that unless you're buying them from people, in which case you're probably going to be, like, wasting a lot of money that way because you're going to be buying stuff for cheap, and those are not going to be the expensive cards that sell, you know? So I'm talking, like, groceries. 
Like if you if you have a way to get groceries from locally like local farms or locally sourced uh, produce places and shit or whatever, like that's always good because well, well most Farmer's of the time market is what we have in the rural areas yeah, where yeah. everyone kind of gathers up around the square and they usually have a truck with their produce. Yeah, and most of the time most of the time it tastes better anyway. Like I I can vouch. I've had stuff from farmers markets and from locally sourced places and whatnot. Uh, milk is a big one. If you get milk from like a farmer that is like milking his own cows and shit, dude, tastes way better than store bought milk by a landslide. Um, cheese as well. Uh, anything like that. I mean, if you can, if you're able to do it, most of the time it's not going to be nearly as expensive either. Like most of the time. Um, yeah, because you don't have to cover shipping costs and and yeah. uh, st- sales tax and all that nonsense. Yeah, so I don't know. Again, if you can, I I don't gripe on anybody that's that's doing what they got to do. You know what I mean? If you got if that's what you can do, whatever. But if you're able to, give it a shot, man. I'm telling you right now, it's it's nice. It's good stuff. Yeah. What's the uh, oh, what's the original Walmart? slogans is save money live better yeah walmart isn't that the original tagline yep dude i hear that on the on the radio now and i think man what time are we in because no these prices these prices are outrageous they're just as bad as everywhere else yeah save money my ass <laughs> that's another that's thing bitching again that's another thing that blows my mind sometimes though is like sales when i have directly seen people that are doing a sale but they're just changing the price of the changing the original price to something uh, or they're not changing the original price and they're just making it look like the original price was higher. Like that kind of shit pisses me off. Oh yeah. It's not called price gouging. What is that called? It fucking, it's not inflation either, but Amazon does this. They will have Walmart does too. I've seen them do it. Yeah. And you, and uh, targets another big one, but Amazon, I know for certain that there are, extensions you can get on your browser that will show you trends and prices on things Mm -hmm. and you'll see that the price of like a big flat screen tv will tick up slowly over the year and then it will drop back down but it will still not drop to market price for, for black friday but you'll still see that it's lower than it has been at its highest point in fucking october yeah and then everyone's like oh deal yeah and that, that's not the case for everything. Like, that doesn't happen all the time, but it happens more often than you'd think. Anybody that has yeah. been working in retail at all for any amount of time, you've seen it. More than likely, you've seen it happen. And uh, it's it's a problem. It's fucking dumb. And then another one that also pisses me off is Hobby Lobby. Ooh, Ho- Hobby Lobby drives me up the wall because no matter what time of year, no matter what time of day, no matter what season it is, you'll go in there and there will be a sale of like yeah. 50% off or 30% off or 25% off whatever that sale goes forever therefore it's no longer a fucking sale that is the price that it is all the time yeah it's all just time. to bring in more yes. customers to think that you're getting a deal so you'll buy the thing there was a clothing store at the mall I used to go to that was that same way where it was any day of the week you walked in it's a new sale yeah. sale and the stuff was still fucking expensive it was just like instead of paying 80 or 100 dollars for a jacket which you're like that's already outrageous oh thank god it's only 60 like it's yeah. still nuts there's no sale going on guys go to hobby lobby anytime any day it's gonna be the same price every time it's stop not, lying it's not the same as clearance clearance is a different thing i obviously i've worked in retail i've worked at many retailers I can tell you, yes, when you clearance something out, especially like food or whatever, if you're putting them on clearance and shit, yes, they drop the price heavily. So when you see that it is a very, very low price, yes, that is clearance. That is not the same thing. I'm talking when you go into Hobby Lobby and the front gate of Hobby Lobby is filled with the sale and there are sale signs all over the store. I hate to break it to you, but those sale signs are always there. (laughs) Forever. I've never been into a Hobby Lobby in my life where they didn't have red and white sale signs everywhere. Ever. Every time. I love it. And I love that people 
it's it's crazy that people don't know. Everyone should know about this. Like, I think a lot of people. Mm, I can't make this. Well, I'll just say it anyway, and we'll we'll see how this lands. Maybe someone can actually correct me. I would love to know if I'm right or not. But it seems like if you don't know what you want to do in college, you go for an arts degree or you go for business degree because you can do uh, uh, any number of things with either of those. Are people getting like people are getting taught to do this fucking sales shit because yeah. it sucks. Stop it. Yeah, that's so irritating. It makes me chafe. Like I get it. I I get this stuff. I have as when I owned a business, I did marketing for the fucking business. I made advertisements. I created sales and events. Like, but I tried to think like a customer and not be so pissed off by stuff that was happening that i knew was a scam that i didn't do that i don't know why i keep saying i don't know why i do know why i know why people do this but it's still so irritating yeah you reminded me though when you said clearance this is really funny every time i go into gamestop if you see something is on clearance and they don't lie about it either they show you the sticker clearance price is the same as the retail price it was i've seen that a few times and I asked a buddy who used to work there. I'm like, why is the clearance price the same price as mark or uh, retail? And he's like, no, it goes down. I think three cents. And then the second time they clearance it is when they drop like twenty five percent. Like, what's the fucking point then? Is the yellow sticker gets people in because you yeah. still have the original price written on the tag? Uh, that's not even the worst type though. I have worked in. I want to. I want to say it was either at, it was either at Walmart or Target. It was one of those two places. I can't remember. But they had a clearance tag on something, and I have a picture of it. I have a picture of it. I don't. I, I'll have to find it, and I'll send it to you if I stumble across it. But I know I have a picture of it, where the clearance price was higher. Oh my god! Than the original price, and they <laughs> printed this sticker and put it on the product, and then put it on the shelf. The clearance price what was a higher. Steal. Yeah, like you're paying more money when it's on clearance. No. No, don't do that. <laughs> like half the half the time, I've noticed when you go into Walmart, something is, and I like I monitor Legos pretty closely. A Lego set on is maybe just for Legos. A Lego set on rollback is usually cheaper than a Lego set on clearance. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know how it happens, but I don't follow Legos all that much because I I know every time I look at Legos, I'm like, man, these are super cool. I'd probably love these, but. I don't even look at the prices because I know I'm not going to buy them because I know I don't have the money for it. <laughs> they just sit on your on your shelves, man. You don't need them. I know, but they're so cool. Dude, I used to be obsessed with Bionicles. Yeah. I had a That's shit That's an ad Bionicles I wish they would bring back. Let me yeah. tell you, man, when the All-American Rejects are playing and you got little fuckers jumping in the water shooting little alien dudes. Yeah. Absolutely. That always worked on me. Dude, the fucking Bionicle movies, the, two, the first two, I, I think they made a couple other ones, but the first two Bionicle movies were my jam i watched those movies so many times i have them on dvd somewhere around here i know i do they're so good (laughs) i love them so much but yeah sad world discontinued i think they might have brought them back to some degree but they're like not even the same thing nope they did hero factory for a little bit which was another lego owned Mm. company but it was or brand it was just it wasn't that good. It wasn't Bionicle. My my buddy, uh, my buddy Tyler. When I was a little, when I was younger. Uh, he had a big ass bag, like this huge clear plastic tote bag, uh, of assorted just random fucking Bionicles pieces and shit. And dude, I'd go hang out at his house, and we would just build the most monstro- monstrosity looking like crazy shit that we could ha- we could have, with, like all kinds of different weapons and shit, multiple heads and different vehicles and stuff dude it was the greatest time ever what a time have to be alive s- have you seen my collection of bionicles of legos and bionicles yeah um i don't think so i have a five drawer full of pieces hell yeah that's the way to do it yeah. man. i love the assorted yeah. ones like i would build the actual ones too out of the fucking tube or whatever but if i got a bag of assorted pieces and shit i go nuts dude nice mint 
Yeah, nice. my buddy gave that to me when he got out of the service. Hell yeah. I liked the uh, I like the ones that rolled Teal. up into the ball. The little yeah, ones with like the uh it's not baracas what the hell are they called oh well it'll come back to me the little roly-poly fellas yeah, yeah i love those things <laughs> i don't remember which toa it was but the the white toa from the second generation that they came out with for the bionicle 2 movie um that one's my favorite like i thought his like snowboard blades or whatever that turned into a snowboard i thought that was the coolest shit ever i ate that i shit think up. i was i think i was like 14 when uh, I was told that the blue one was a girl and I was like no way You're blowing my fucking mind right now. You didn't now. watch the serious? movies? No. Dude the movies the movies would have told you that man. I just watched the ad with the kids hands coming in and they drop the little fucker <laughs> in and they shoot the little blasters off of them and I was like yo. Have, wait a minute have you never seen the movies? I don't think so. That needs to be your next movie update god damn it. Watch the first know. two. Just the first two. I, I don't care if you watch the ones after that, but the first two, you gotta watch them. Got a bit to get through here. Yeah, but you can move the Bionicle movies up to your top of your stack. You're behind. I think the next thing I'm gonna watch is probably gonna be Reservoir Dogs or Goodfellas. I wanna see some gangster movies. Bionicles 1 and 2. Garfield 1 and 2. Uh, Gangster movies. Have you seen Black Mass? No. Watch Black Mass. It's kind of long, but it's a gangster movie about uh, Whitey Bulger. It was like it's all based on like true events and shit. Okay, I know. Yeah, I've heard that name. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's got uh, it's got Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Johnny Depp and um, it's got a, it's got a couple other big names too in there. I'm, I'm blanking on them right now, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. I liked it. Anyway. I thought it was pretty good. But Black Mass, peep it. And Bionicles 1 and 2. Also gangster movies. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Technically, I think, yeah. A lot of turf war on those. Well. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Anyway, you got anything else to uh, add about ads? Oh, uh, it's... Kill them all. Kill them all. Man, I don't know. I I feel like there's there's good ads out there, but also I can't I can't think of any. None if you're gonna see it, then it then it has entered the general population, and it's probably become such a wide known thing that it's owned by a multi million dollar thing that's trying to promote its product. And at that point, not interested. Yeah. I'm just I, not. If I'm interested, I will look it up. And if I look it up and I find it and it's a niche thing, awesome. Then I'm into it. If you're going to have ads about stuff, give us ads about stuff that's not already well known. Like, yeah. another ad about HelloFresh is not going to do anything. Because everybody and their mom already fucking knows about HelloFresh. Everybody already knows about Manscaped. Everybody already knows about Raid Shadow Legends. Everybody, they've become memes, guys. Like, we already know about them. Give us ads if you're going to do them, because we know you will. Do shit about stuff that nobody knows about. Reasons to promote the product so it gets that product more attention. Yeah. For the only one sake. I can think of that was good, and I never bought from them, it was a sock company where if you bought a pair of every one pair of socks you bought, they would donate a pair of their special socks to like a shelter that needed oh, them. Oh yeah, I've heard of I was companies like, that's, doing that. That's fucking cool. Sure. Yeah. I've heard of companies doing that or like there's some companies that you buy one of these things and they'll plant they'll plant like a tree or some shit like that or you know, shit like that. But like, if it's gonna help in the long run as well, sure. I mean that's fucking cool, but like I don't know. I know, I get yeah. it, like the the big companies are gonna pay more, I get it, but still. Mr. Beast, I'm sorry to tell you this, man, but no matter what, I'm probably never going to try Beastable Bar. I might have. I considered it once, and then I kept watching Mr. Beast videos. And I don't want to try your chocolate, man. Sucks to suck, man. Sucks to suck. Go watch the pizza verse. <laughs> go go buy the, our merch. Go watch the pizza verse. Buy our merch. Link in the description. <laughs> Dude. Listen, listen to our music. Uh, go check out my eBay shop. 
buy my movies. I have a stockpile now. Sub to the channel, like this video, tell somebody you love them, comment. What is your what is the worst ad experience that you've ever had? Comment down below. Let us know. Or on the flip side, what ad worked on you and you it's a ever, product you've actually enjoyed? Have you ever been swayed by an ad? Yeah. Did you let the ad win? Have you ever been yeah, dumbass? Have you ever been lulled by an ad? I thought you were gonna go for a different word. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i think that's all i got for ads i'm sick of talking about ads uh yeah <laughs> we'll see in the this next video one. <laughs> this video is brought to you by this uh mouse that's actually a hamster 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 mouse for my computer bye You're welcome we'll see you later